don't trip or you'll be lunch. Hey everybody. Today we are taking a look at Apocalypse 101 with Bob. This is a fun arcade zombie wave shooter that will keep you on edge. Don't let the low poly models fool you. This game is just as creepy as any zombie shooter. The way they move and all around atmosphere lends to an intense little work in progress. Starting out with the graphics, as far as arcade shooters go, this one has done a very nice job with lighting to give the low poly walkers a very creepy vibe. Unfortunately, the deep darkness in this game highlights one of the few complaints about the Oculus Quest 2 I have. The blacks refuse to be black and we are left with a muddled dark gray that can't deliver the true darkness required for full terror. That's on the Quest 2, not the game. Anyways, on to gameplay and controls. And I did check this time. There is snap turning on the right controller for those who prefer to turn that way. I'm not sure if smooth turning will be available in the future. For our first version, the controls feel nice. I didn't notice myself struggling with the weapons too much. The pistol felt great and I only really struggled with the handling of the shotgun in the right hand. Sometimes when you go to grab the guns with your stabilizing hand, the gun will sort of freak out for a second and make the weapon hard to hold or aim. Right now, there are three weapons offered to kill some zombies with. A pistol, a shotgun, and an assault rifle. All three of which felt on your belt or over your shoulder for safekeeping. Although sometimes when I would attempt to grab ammo for the current weapon, I would accidentally grab one of the other weapons on my belt. Not a big deal until you have zombies all around you and you start to panic. My favorite weapon to shoot was by far the assault rifle. Unfortunately, only 15 rounds per magazine in the rifle leads to a lot of reloading. So far, there are five areas to fight zombies and test your survival skills. Each area will expect you to complete certain tasks to satisfy the criteria to finish the level. Nothing too tricky, but it definitely will present a challenge. I'm still working to complete the fifth level, so I honestly can't tell you what happens if you complete all five stages with 100%. Let me know in the comments below if you complete this and what happens afterwards. Bob. Smile at me again and I'll punch your yellow teeth in. Man, what a dick. But it is a zombie apocalypse, and he seems to know a thing or two, so we'll cut him some slack. I like his character. Lots of energy, always moving, bouncing. Not your standard stand still till you interact with me type of robotic NPC. The voice actor does a great job and the voice matches the character, something some other small indie games tend to struggle with. My only complaint so far is the music. Either it's too loud or I'm officially too old. But man, I can barely hear myself think while wearing headphones or earbuds. The songs and styles are fine, and definitely add to the mood. But I think Bob has been to one too many rock concerts, or he's fired off one too many rounds in confined spaces without proper hearing protection. Maybe let us control the volume on Bob's stereo. That being said, the developer did an awesome job with the directional sound. I can't tell you why, but for some reason the sounds coming from Bob, the stereo, and the front of the zombies are really affected by how far you are and the way in the direction your head is facing. This seemed more noticeable to me in the game than many others. This has been a fun zombie shooter to play around in. I hope the developer keeps going and continues to add to their creation. This is one we will continue to follow. Die again? <laughs> <laughs> 